That glow, that enchantment is the work of a very old group of builders. A group so old that they existed even before the Order of the Stone. Okay, guys, I'm seeing grass, forest, lots of ground in all directions. All good signs so far. Uh, um. Aha. Uh -huh. Verdict says, definitely not our world. You owe me two iron, Lucas. Pay up. Okay, okay. Here. <laughs> Told you it was a dumb bet. Would you guys quit goofing around? This is kind of a serious situation. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. I was just... Uh, I'm just worried about Axel and Olivia. What? Why? Well, if they followed us back to that old builder temple and went through the portal... They would arrive in Sky City to find it overflowing with monsters. Yeah. At least we already built them the bridge. That is more than we started with. Oh man, I hadn't thought about that. If they followed us, they could be in trouble. Hey, maybe next time we're in the portal hall, we can leave a sign or something. Tell them which one we're going through. I like that idea. Well, I for one vote that we not be so hasty to try and get out of here. Who knows what sorts of treasures this new world could hold. Besides, unless the next portal is disguised as a tombstone, I'm not seeing it anywhere near here. You guys see some sort of shape over there? Yeah. What is that? Let's find out. It says, invitation. And then, read immediately, your life depends on it. <clears throat> Greetings, Traveler. Yep, that seems about right. Keep reading, Jesse. We've got your back. I, I humbly invite you to my mansion for an evening of food and festivity with your fellow adventurers. That's odd. Yeah, weird, right? Whoa! Toss it here! <laughs> Petra, any time now? You can read, right? Hang on, hang on! Need to find Jesse's place. Uh, got it! Come to my home on the hill. Just follow the path. Please look out for zombies. Sincerely, the host. Nice warning. Come on, there's the path. I must say, this is the highest concentration of zombies I've ever seen in one place. You think this host is gonna be legit, Jesse? I just asked because this place hasn't exactly been friendly so far. Boy, I hope so. I wouldn't mind getting out of the zombies for a bit. I'm going to go out on a limb and say, that's the place we're looking for. Race you guys there. Oh yeah, I don't race so much anymore. Bad, bad knees. Hope that fighting helped you work up an appetite, Petra, because you're about to eat my dust. Oh, big words, Jesse.
You hear that too, right? Almost sounds like a waterfall! What? that one, Jesse. Let's maybe get inside the mansion before we pat ourselves on the back too much, shall we? That front door's definitely a no-go. Ah, stick with me, guys. for a head. White pumpkin? No such thing as white pumpkin. Let's save the agricultural discussions for inside, okay? <sighs> Great! There's no door back here. How are we supposed to get in? We should be able to build up and break in through there. Trees, we can cut those down. Good plan. And now my inventory is full of wood blocks. Hey, you never know when those will come in handy. Looks like some kind of kitchen in there. Then break the window and get us into the blasted place. Hope the host doesn't mind us breaking their window. I'm sure he'll find it in his heart to forgive us. Wow, some kitchen. Oh, Doug, you know I don't care if you took it. Just give it back. And I'm telling you for the last time, Sparkles, I didn't take the stupid thing. I think we could avoid a lot of unpleasantness. Uh, if... What the? Hi. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Very, very funny. Show up super late, make us all sit and wonder what the heck is going on. 
Now this is your house, right? Cause if it is, we've all been waiting for like hours! It's rude! Now easy, Torque Dog. We got one of these invitations too. What the heck is going on here? Darn. Sorry for the language. That wasn't about you getting an invitation. Just that I was hoping you could explain things. This is Torque Dog. Sup? And I'm Captain Sparkles. Though, maybe you know that already. Captain Sparkles? I've got, like, nine million fans? It really is awesome to meet you. I'm Jesse, and that's Petra, Lucas, and Ivor. Charmed. <laughs> Jesse? That's a girl's name. What are you guys, anyway? Some sort of <clears throat> loser patrol? Talk dog. Oh, come on. That was hilarious. Actually, we're the Order of the Stone. Legendary heroes. Kind of a big deal. Legendary heroes? <laughs> I ain't never heard of you. Torque Talk! Cool it! That sea of zombies has us all trapped. So we just need to try our best to get along. Worst day ever! Just try and look on the bright side. Huh. All these other people as rude as you? Watch yourself, little dude! I tell you what, the minute... All them weird zombies are gone. Ugh. Torque Dog is out of here. Okay, so the sea of zombies isn't normal. It's good to hear. Two moons is normal, though, right? Um, the moons? Uh, yeah. Why don't you know about this stuff? Are you from, like, out of town or something? <laughs> what the hell? Did you hear that? <laughs> Something's at my butt. Who's at my butt? I think it stopped. Hey, what's going on? Oh. <gasps> Hey, Jesse. Jesse, come here. You've got a, a girl's name. Uh. <laughs> Tork dog? Tork dog? So I'm guessing calling dibs on his inventory would be Ivor. Sparkles, I hope this isn't an insensitive question, but did you do that? What? No! How could you say that? All those arrows, this inventory, everywhere! How did that... who... One minute he's alive, the next... Gone! Poof! Sparkles, I know you're freaking out right now, but you've got to pull yourself together. Okay, okay. You're right. Woo! You're right. Everyone stand back. Let me see what I can figure out. This is... why is this happening? Gunpowder, redstone dust, leather pants. Pretty much what you'd expect, I guess. Uh. <sighs> uh, who would do this? There's the trapdoor that sucked up Torque Dog's stuff. Looks like it's a match set with that arrow dispenser up there. But you saw his stuff. He didn't really have anything worth stealing. Perhaps it was simply to dispose of the evidence. This whole thing is getting creepier by the minute. Guys, found something strange about this arrow. Yeah, Ivor, you know potions and enchantments and weird stuff like that. What do you make of it? <sighs> mm. <laughs> Smells like... Yes. Potion of poison? Oh, is it a tipped arrow? Oh, I've heard of those. They're... they're still pretty new. Oh, nasty stuff. Using potions to make arrows. The possibilities are fascinating. Would you stop pointing that thing all over the place? You're making me nervous. Back up. What did you say that was? Uh, tipped arrows? You can, like, put different potion effects on them? Could have sworn I saw someone doing a tutorial on how to make those not too long ago. My nerves are too shot to remember who right now. Well, let me know if it comes back to you. Hello? Everything okay in here? Whoa! What's with the crowd? I, uh... I was just about to get everyone together to tell them at once. Okay? Hang on a minute. It's you! I recognize you! Excuse me? Uh, yes. What? 
recognize us? How? I'll show you. Follow me. Um, okay. Lizzie, hi. Did you see all these new... Oh, you've got them with you. <gasps> well, first it was the portraits of the people already here, then poof. You guys. Whoa, that's unexpected. Yeah, no kidding. They're absolutely exquisite. Perfect. Well, not perfect. Absolutely perfect. Must have been when we showed up. Flattering how well they captured our likenesses. I just can't figure it out. Who would have done this? We've kind of been asking ourselves the same question. Well, that's definitely not a good sign. Come on, everyone. Let's huddle up in the dining room. Wonder if he told them yet. Can't wait to hear the big news. Me neither. Ooh, I hope there's cake. Guess not. Come on, let's do this. Come on, Winslow. Here, let me introduce you all properly. You guys already met Cassie Rose and LD Shadow Lady. Uh, but my friends call me Lizzie. This is Stacy Plays, Stampy Cat, and that's Dan, the Diamond Minecart. W when did your hair change color? Wasn't it? It's funny. Before you guys showed up, we all knew each other here. They're the Order of the Stone. Jesse, Petra, Lucas, and Ivor. Apparently, they're famous heroes where they come from. You said that was news? Is it good? Good news? Uh, yeah. It's, um, bad news, I'm afraid. Torque Dog is dead. Good heavens! Oh, no. Wait, what? But Torque Dog was so tough! There was nothing that could take him down. What happened? Yeah, what on earth is going on here, Sparkles? These are what got him. Tipped arrows? Does this mean someone set a trap for Torque Dog? That's nasty. I can't believe Torque Dog's gone. Just like that. So, what happened to his stuff? Whoa! How can you say that? What? It's a valid question. Whoa. Come on, everyone. Come on. Don't get greedy. Just... I want to know what happened. For curiosity's sake. Wow, that's a pretty cold question, don't you think? Well, let's just say you didn't know Torque Dog like we did. So I'm looking at this situation, I'm trying to figure something out. Is this just about Torque Dog, or is there a bigger picture? Yeah, why have our portraits? I don't know, guys. Knowing Torque Dog, I think this might just be about him. Am I picking up some beef here? Uh, what? No! I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, but then why invite us all here? That's true. Hadn't thought about that. Well, someone brought us here for a reason, including Talk Dog. What if we're all in danger? Oh my gosh, Dan's right! Whoever's doing this, they could be hunting us! Hey, come on, everyone. If there's one thing I believe in, it's teamwork. If we all stick together and get through this as a team, we'll be fine. Ha, <laughs> inspiring. There you go, guys! Teamwork makes the dream work. Wow. Oh, all of this danger talk has my stomach all queasy. Stampy, come over here. I need to talk to you about something. Lizzie. Psst. Lizzie. The more I think about it, the more I think that there's something these people really don't want us to know. One of them's got to know the truth about what's going on here. It'd be nice to figure out what on earth is going on here. Especially if we're going to be stuck with these people until dawn. Sounds like we've got a mystery to solve, people. Luckily, Detective Jesse is on the case. Let's get investigating, then. Hey there, Dan. Lizzie? Oh, uh, hello? Hi there. 
If you don't mind, I actually had some questions about this torque dog situation. Yeah? Go ahead. Torque dog was clearly targeted with this trap. Why him? Well, he was bragging about having some kind of rare item. Wouldn't show it to anyone, of course. Typical talk dog. So this rare item that Torque Dog claimed to have, what can you tell me about it? We don't know exactly. Yeah, sorry. Okay. It seemed like people were really interested in seeing Torque Dog's inventory. Any idea why? An adventurer like him? He could have had all kinds of cool stuff. Uh-huh. Lizzie, seems like you're not much of a Torque Dog fan. What's the deal? Oh, come on. You met him, right? Nobody liked that guy. I'm just the only one who will actually admit it. He, um, yeah, he definitely wasn't the nicest person. Okay, that's it for now. Thanks. What'd you find out? It's all tangled up, but it sounds like Torque Dog claimed to have some sort of rare item. I didn't see anything like that in his inventory, though. Yeah, something's not quite adding up here. Hey guys, Stampy and Stacy, right? Oh, um, uh, hello! Hey, Jesse. What's up? I know things are a little nuts right now, but I've got some questions. Oh! Really? Uh, but what? Stacy, you seem pretty curious about what was in Torque Dog's inventory. What's up with that? Well, Torque Dog was a pretty notorious thief. I was just curious what he had. That's it. Mm-hmm. Seems like Lizzie and Torque Dog really didn't like each other. Know anything else about that? Oh, that! Real shame, real shame. He broke into her house and stole a bunch of stuff from her. She was super upset about it. You don't say. Anyone you can think of that would want something bad to happen to Torque Dog? Um, well, I never had that big of a problem with him personally, but I know other people did. Quite a few, actually. I don't know if you noticed, but he was a bit of a griefer. Yeah, and a thief. Thief, huh? Interesting. Thanks, you two. This has been enlightening. No problem. Yeah, no problem. So did you find anything out from Stacy or Sturdy Cat? Stampy Cat? Right, right. So did you find anything out? Apparently, Torque Dog was a well-known thief. A thief, huh? That might have something to do with it, don't you think? Agreed. Hey, Sparkles, and Cassie Rose, yeah? Yep, hi, that's me. Hey there, Jesse. Oh, Winslow says hi, too. <laughs> you mind if I ask you guys some questions? Nope. What are the questions? There was drama between Lizzie and Torque Dog, right? Got any insight? Sorry, I'm not getting wrapped up in that. Especially now that Torque Dog is, you know. But it's weird, right? Definitely seems like there's some beef. Uh, not that I um, want to get into rumors or anything like that. Cassie, you seem pretty upset about people wanting to poke around Torque Dog's inventory. Oh, was I? Yeah, yeah, you were. Why was that? Well, it was just so... It's insensitive, right? I mean, it, it had just happened, and she was all curious about what was in his pockets. Just made me mad, I guess. I asked Stacy about why she wanted to see Torque Dog's inventory so bad. She said she was just curious. Huh, just like me. What a coincidence. Got any guesses why someone would kill Torque Dog? Uh, gosh, gosh, um, he was a little 
prickly around the edges, you know? You'd have to ask other people about that. I, I didn't really know him. Mm-hmm. I don't want to say anything mean about a guy that's not here to defend himself, but, well, you met him, right? Prickly is kind of an understatement. Sparkles, Cassie, Winslow, thanks for the time. No problem. Uh, yeah, anytime. Get anything out of them? Found out this group has a whole lot of secrets they're keeping from each other. That's definitely something. So, Torque Dog was a thief, and he supposedly had something rare, but I feel like there's still a piece missing. No one will tell me what this rare item is. I, uh, I think I can shed some light on that situation, actually. Well, now my curiosity is piqued. He already had me at rare item. Oh, thank goodness someone's being direct with me. Thanks, Sparkles. There's a temple, way out in the middle of nowhere. No one knows who built it, but it's been there forever. People have been trying to track down the temple's location for ages because they want this treasure. It's supposedly deep in its basement. Now, it looks just like an ordinary flint and steel, but it's actually super rare. It's got this enchantment on it. It can open portals to other worlds? Exactly. Wait, what? You know about the enchanted flint and steel? How did you know that? Did, have, you, have you seen it? Have you seen it today? I actually have one of my own. Really? Yeah, I do. Just used it a little oh, while geez, ago to put get put that in. away. You, you can't just pull that out here. Okay. Uh, you know, I had a theory about why you were here, and I, I think this might just prove it. Everyone? Everyone? We've all been freaking out, wondering why we were all brought here. Why uh, Torque Dog died? Uh, and Jesse has just uncovered a very important clue. What? Really? Whoever killed Torque Dog, whoever invited us, they're after the enchanted flint and steel. Ah! Sparkles? Panic, 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 oh, panic, 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 Sparkles! Greetings, adventurers. I am the White Pumpkin. One of you is the treasure I desire. I will not rest until it is mine, even if I have to resort to murder. And if we're stuck in here, we're all doomed. I thought I heard Sparkle say something about a flint and steel. Oh, please don't bring that up again. Well, obviously Talk Dog didn't steal it. Okay, but who then? Uh, Jesse? Well, I guess I'm next then. Nope, not happening. Don't worry, Ivor. I'll protect you. I appreciate that, Jesse. I just hope that this white pumpkin isn't beyond both of our abilities. Well, I'm sure there's a perfectly logical explanation for how the white pumpkin is doing all this. I mean, the whole place has got to be rigged with traps, right? Torque Dog, trap. Sparkles, 
Trap. Yeah, we need to find out what makes these traps tick. All right, I'm gonna investigate that dining room. Cool. I'll keep those guys in the hall for now so I can keep an eye on everyone. An excellent idea. Don't want them messing up the crime scene. I'm sticking with you, Jesse. Doesn't seem safe to wander off alone. Okay, people, clear out! This is a crime scene! Okay, how are you doing this, White Pumpkin? Impressive. Anything? Now nah, it looks like a regular old fireplace. All those chandeliers used to be glowstone before they got their white pumpkin makeover. They definitely add atmosphere, but not exactly the good kind. This looks like the exact spot where the white pumpkin appeared, but now, just a portrait. Unless... It's just a costume on an armor stand with a jukebox for the voice. No sign of how it was triggered. Wow. The white pumpkin must have some amazing redstone skills to rig up something like this. But why? Must have taken a lot of work to rig up. They must have a reason for it. It must have been a diversion from whatever was going on in the room at the time. What, like you think the White Pumpkin was in the room with us? Possibly. Man, poor Sparkles. Crushed under sand. Ugh. <sighs> Really nasty way to go. 